टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट नेट पॉजिटिव सक्शन हेड एन पी एस एच एंड कैबिटेशन इन सेंट्रीव्यूगल पम्प इन दिस पिक्चर टू रिजर्वर आर देयर लोअर वन एंड अपर वन लोअर वन इज ए बॉटम रिजर्वर एंड टॉप वन इज टॉप रिजर्वर एंड वाटर इज पम्प फ्रॉम बॉटम रिजर्वर टू द टॉप रिजर्वर बाय ए सेंट्रीव्यूगल पम्प कनेक्टेड बाय ए पाइप लाइन टू बोथ रिजर्वर लेट्स एस्टेब्लिश some key points the central line indicated here serve as a reference line where the pump is positioned the vertical distance from the central line vertical distance from central line to the liquid surface of the bottom reservoir is denoted as a z1 or hs that is also called static suction head lift on the flip side the vertical distance vertical distance from central line to the top reservoir liquid surface uh, that is denoted as z2 also hd uh, that is called static delivery lift now here that point 1 is the pump suction point where the v1 is the velocity and p1 is the pressure and one dash is the point of the surface of the uh, liquid at the bottom reservoir uh, here v1 is the velocity v1 dash is the velocity and p1 dash is the pressure obviously here p1 dash is the open to atmosphere so the p1 dash is nothing but atmospheric pressure and v1 dash is the velocity so as the water at rest so velocity is zero in the top reservoir as water is coming uh, again in the top reservoir Uh, that point two is uh, at the point uh, of that liquid surface of the top reservoir. Uh, here V two is the velocity, and P two is the pressure. Again, uh, that top reservoir is open to atmosphere, so P two is nothing but atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. So P atm. Now, here I am going to define the NPSH net positive suction head. Now, what is the net positive suction head so that is defined as the difference between the absolute pressure head available at the suction point so here that point 1 is uh, the suction point and vapor pressure head of the liquid so it is the difference between the absolute pressure head available at the suction point and the vapor pressure head of the liquid now here npsh is equal to nothing but at the point 1 at suction point at suction point that kinetic head and pressure head kinetic head is nothing but v1 square by 2g and plus p1 by rho g so that is total pressure head minus vapor pressure head so vapor pressure of that liquid by rho g now here uh, that v1 is the velocity at the suction point that is uh, unit is meter per second p1 is the pressure at the suction point again unit is pascal rho is the fluid density kg per meter cube g is acceleration due to gravity meter per second and p vapor vapor pressure of the liquid uh, unit is pascal now so point 1 oh, that is the suction point so at that point we already know what what is the net positive suction head now if i apply bernoulli's equation between point 1 dash here and 1 so what will be the bernoulli's equation so simplified bernoulli's equation between the bottom reservoir point 1 dash and the suction point point 1 so that we can write p1 dash by rho g plus v1 v1 dash squared by 2g plus z1 dash is equal to p1 by rho g plus v1 squared by 2g plus z1 plus h now here that p1 is the pressure at the suction point v1 is the velocity at the suction point z1 elevation at the suction point from that uh, surface of the liquid at the bottom reservoir to the central line and h it is the head loss in the suction line because uh, in the pump is connected uh, uh, with 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 the pipe line uh, from that pump is connected with pipe line uh, the reservoir bottom reservoir 
so here head loss in that suction line means whatever head loss uh, in that pipe so that we have to consider here and p1 dash is the pressure at the bottom reservoir that is pa and v1 dash is the velocity at the bottom reservoir that is meter per second and z1 dash is elevation at the bottom reservoir now here that p1 dash that pressure at the bottom reservoir pa is nothing but p atm and v1 dash that the velocity at the bottom reservoir as the liquid as at rest so velocity must be zero and z1 is the elevation at the bottom reservoir now here we are to considering reference line that reference line at the surface of the bottom uh, surface of the liquid at the bottom reservoir so that z1 dash is zero now so b1 dash square by 2g and z1 dash will be cancel out so we remaining term will have that p1 dash is nothing but p atm so p atm by rho g is equal to p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 plus hf now p atm by rho g minus if i take z1 and Z hf left hand side so p atm by rho g minus z1 minus hf is equal to p1 by rho g plus p1 square by 2g and we know npsh that is v1 square by 2g plus p1 rho g minus vapor pressure of vapor pressure by rho g now here v1 and 2g by rho g we can substitute so we'll get p atm by rho g minus z1 minus hf minus p vapor by rho g so we'll get the equation so now npsh nothing but p atm by rho g minus vapor pressure of vapor pressure by rho g minus z1 minus hf so if i know the atmospheric pressure liquid density and acceleration due to gravity and vapor pressure of the liquid uh, again that rho and g and if i know that distance from the liquid surface to pump so we can easily calculate z1 and if we know the total length diameter uh, we can easily calculate what will be the hf so if we know that so then we can easily calculate what will be the net positive suction head now if net positive suction head is zero so what will happen so if net positive suction head is zero so then the cavitation occur and pump will not be pumped the liquid so now if i put NPS, npsh is equal to zero so here p atm rho g minus z1 hf is equal to vapor pressure by rho g so now means uh, what will happen here so p atm by rho g minus z1 minus hf is means total suction total head at suction is equal to vapor pressure head so when that will equal so pump will not pump the liquid means cavitation occur so here uh, if the net positive suction is is equal to zero means cavitation occurs and the pump will not effectively pump the liquid the total head at the suction point is equal to the vapor pressure head indicating the critical condition nps is equal to zero is equal to means uh, when nps is equal to zero means cavitation occurs to prevent the cavitation the net positive suction head required mean nps shr must be greater than zero ensuring that there is a sufficient margin above the vapor pressure head so NPSHR NPSHR greater than NPSH available if that condition is satisfied then only pump will pump the liquid so NPSH means net, net positive suction head in meter NPSHR means net positive suction head required NPSH available means net positive suction head available now cavitation so what are, what are the key points so formation of cavities cavitation occur when the local pressure in the liquid drops below its vapor pressure vaporization and bubble formation low pressure causes vaporization forming small vapor bubbles within the liquid bubble collapse bubbles moves to the region of higher pressure collapsing rapidly and generating intense shock waves microjet high temperature and pressure spikes damage and noise the collapse of cavitation bubbles near solid surface can lead to erosion pitting and generate characteristic noise described as popping or hammering sound 
effect in machinery capitation can impact the performance and efficiency of the pump propellers and hydraulic system resulting in reduced flow rates loss pump efficiency increase water and potential structural damage now how to avoid cavitation so key strategies ensure adequate npsh maintain sufficient net positive suction head npsh to prevent pressure drop below the vapor pressure optimize pump design design pumps with smooth component avoiding sharp bends and sudden change in flow control fluid velocity use flow control device to manage fluid velocity and prevent low, low pressure zones use cavitation resistance material select materials resistant to cavitation induce wear and damage avoid excessive pump speed operate pump with within design speed limit to prevent increase fluid velocity minimize system restriction keep the entire fluid system free from unnecessary obstruction maintain proper fluid level ensuring appropriate liquid levels in the reservoir and sumps implement anti cavitation device use device like inducer or pre swell starters to manage fluid flow so that's it thank you